Before recording any sales into QuickBooks, it's best to tell QuickBooks what services and products you provide to your customers. To do that, select Sales from the navbar. Then, click the Products and Services tab. Now click Add a Product or Service. Here QuickBooks asks you if you want to set up a non-inventory product or a service. Non-inventory products are physical objects that you sell, but you don't keep track of how many of them you have. Good examples are nuts and bolts that are used in installation and other material products. Services are services that you perform for your customer. We're going to set up a service, but both of these items are set up in the exact same way. Our business is a landscaping company, so the first thing we want to set up is trimming. This is a service we provide to our customers. Here you can set up a stock keeping unit and also a category for the different things that you sell. Also, if you have a picture of the product that you sell, you can upload that picture right here. The sales information is what it is that customers will see when you invoice them or send them a sales receipt. So for this service, we'll enter tree trimming services. Then the sales price or rate field allows you to enter into QuickBooks what it is you charge your customers for this product or service. You can also leave this field blank if it's different from sale to sale. We, however, charge $50 an hour for trimming, so we'll enter 50. And then the income account is the account that QuickBooks will use to categorize the income when we enter a sales transaction. This is the account that will be impacted on our profit and loss report anytime we make a sale. For us, this is going to be the landscaping services income account right here. Once you're done, select save and close. And now we have a trimming service that we can charge to our customers for $50 an hour. Setting up your products and services ahead of time makes entering sales much easier.